What's up, family? It's your ghetto news reporter, Mary and Dash between Mary Lee. Today is October the 2nd, 2019. I would like to present you with my dope rap that I made in the late 80s for my ex girlfriend, Donna Marie Evans. The druggie. You see the eyes, nigga? They never lie. <laughs> Real fucking talk. I did it for her son, though, who was five years old around that time. He understand what I'm saying, Mario Durrell Evans, because I knew she. Donna Maria Evans had a problem because she was trying to make me look like this. You see my eyes. I got the raccoon eyes for real, nigga. Shit, for real. Where a nigga to death? Long story short, Bill W. story came out in 1989 after I wrote the dope rap. Dope. This ain't no joke, folks. Get sober, everybody. It's time to make a change. Rearrange your brain. You know what I mean? Nicotine, narcotics, cocaine, marijuana, and PCP. What they trying to be? Messing up our society, et cetera, et cetera. I can go on forever. Joe's is killing off our people like an undercover clever. It would never get better unless we do it together. Take a stand. Yes, we can. For one and all. Blacks, white, small, and tall. We got to make a speech every day of the week. Instead of snort cocaine and smoking weed. Because personally, I wouldn't want a World War Three. But as you all can see... World War Three is a possibility. So tell me, mothers, fathers, sisters, and brothers, would you want your uncle shot by your dauphin cousin for a little package deal whose name is Killer? And that's for real. It's a bitter situation. Yes, indeed it is. But as I said, my friends, it's getting big. So please listen to these lyrics that I say to you because drugs is no exception to its rule. Only obsession to take what you have. Family gold and cold, cold cash. It's like an incurable disease that we do not need. AIDS by itself is a misery. Seriously, people, we can accomplish a win if we put our heads together and start being friends because it's always a beginning and hopefully an end to all this tragedy. But we must use strategy. That the kids are the ones that I feel for most. Some never get the chance to say I've coped. It's like hand in hand, mother and father selling our grams. And if you ask the child, they say I am. Now it makes you sad and want to cry, yet realize that the future relies on the kids standing by your side. But what I really like to know. How far will it go? And what will we do? Will it be me for me and you for you? Or one for all to help the small to reach the point of standing tall? That's all. Now, with that said, I came up with that rap because, like I said, my ex-girlfriend, Donna Marie Evans, a.k.a. Cookie, the Italian stallion, you know, had a drug problem and had a son. And I was wanting him to grow up. But they double-crossed me, nigga. For real. Honest, honest aid. They double-crossed me. You understand what I'm saying? Because they wanted, you know, my money. And they had another agenda. You understand what I'm saying? They wanted to bring up Marsha Bruce Matters, the third, a.k.a. Eminem, and have him take over my rap legacy. I'm the originator of rap. I've been writing rap since 1975, okay? I stood up at the age of six in 1973. I was in the Sun-Times newspaper. You understand what I'm saying? Because I was a victim of child abuse. I am still a victim to this day. Okay, October the 2nd, 2019. Real motherfucking talk. I've been, you know, poisoned six times, tased by the police in my kidney. Police put a scar on my motherfucking face and shit. You understand what I'm saying? They took my right to bear arms away from me because they knew they was going to rob me and they didn't want to fucking goddamn it, you know, for me to protect myself. You understand what I'm saying? But not only that, my higher power showed up and showed out anyway. Half measures of bells us nothing in AA. That's what they say. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. I had enough sense to think about her child. Nobody cared about my people, though. And that's the part I don't like. You understand what I'm saying? So they railroaded me May 31st, 2008, so they can bring in Obama so he could try to take over, you know, the streets or whatever the fuck, you know, first black president but he got a white mama and you know the Ku Klux Klan all up in that shit you understand what I'm saying real motherfucking talk not only that it was a white guy that put my website up and his uh, mama was the so called police and he was a gay guy okay I bought this shirt from Walmart okay it's a girl's shirt I seen a black guy with the girl's shirt on same shirt you understand what I'm saying I put the colors in it and added the pink you know what I'm saying my real colors for the rainbow it's fucking red, orange, yellow, brown, pink, green, blue, and purple. You understand what I'm saying? But every time I see a rainbow someplace, even in AA, if you go to the headquarters of AA, they got a fucking medallion, but they ain't got no pink in it, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? And it's supposed to be the red rainbow colors and stuff. I take offense to that because I'm the originator for fucking AA. But gangbangers camouflage their story with mine, hid behind me with all that drug shit. And gangbanger shit, played it off and shit, and then railroaded me 